what a diverse uh, group of individuals and ideas. And Representative Massey, I wanted to take a moment off the cuff here and pay tribute this debate for your wife, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you. Really. Thank you. Um, she, she'd want me to be here. And you're here, and it means the world to our country and what you have done to make change from within a very flawed system. More and more people are seeing it, and I hope they see it this debate. Prime Massey. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So I wanted to get your closing remarks, how you feel about the debate tonight. Well, thank, thank you. you. Um, you know, since I'm an elected Republican, I sign a sworn statement that I'm a Republican in order to be in that party. And sometimes I have a hard time casting that vote, but I have since I've been elected. I've kept my word. And so my wife, Rhonda, would oftentimes cancel that out by voting third party for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to report I, I sat here as an unrepentant Republican. And I may repent later for my sins, but I didn't burst into flames. These ideas, some of them are an anathema to my existence, but some of them, many of them are better than the, uh, the principles my own party espouses. So I think it was good to have this uh, debate. I went to school not for politics, but for engineering, and they taught us to do lots of R&D. Now you may think you know what R&D is, but it stands for rip off and duplicate. <laughs> and, I, and I plan to R&D several of these ideas tonight. Uh, um, and use them in Congress. And, and I, I want to give you some hope. I told you that, you know, etched into granite and marble and oak and mahogany is the two-party system. But in 2015, I discovered by studying the parliamentary rules that oftentimes when the uniparty is in action, when both parties to dis decide to debate positively for the same bill, a third person can go to the microphone and claim one third of the time in the, on the floor of Congress. And I did that, the first time I've seen it was when I did it in 2015 in Congress. And um, they weren't expecting it, you know. But I've, the good news is other people are doing that now in Congress. And I've seen it done at least half a dozen times in this Congress alone, where a third person steps up. When the Republicans and Democrats are in lockstep uh, doing something bipartisan, which means, as George Carlin said, you're getting screwed bigger than normal when it's bipartisan. <laughs> he might not have used those words. Uh, but when they're, when they're doing something that, you know, they're proud of and it's bipartisan, a lot of times it's the uniparty and it's not good for this country. And I will tell you, we will keep a live debate like you did tonight. We will keep it alive in Congress. Thank you.